Hey! Hello hey, everyone, Andrew. And this is Cutter. Here bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing our top five most overrated and top five most underrated actors and actresses in Hollywood. Uh, so what we did is we each picked our own top five. She has her top five overrated and underrated actors and actresses, and I have my top five. We don't know who's um, on each other's list. We're just kind of winging it when it comes down to it. And what will happen is one of us will state who is on the list, how we feel towards this person, and whether or not we agree with the list. So, first we're going to do our overrated actors and actresses. And uh, we're going to start things off with number five. So, my love, you mm -hmm. can go first. I had Tom Cruise as the least overrated actor. He's a good actor, but he shouldn't be put up on the pedestal most people put him on. I've seen some of his work, and what's good about it has kind of gotten overshadowed by all the stuff that he's doing with Scientology and whatnot. So I think Tom Cruise is the least overrated, but definitely overrated. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, get, we'll get back to Tom Cruise when... Um, he does make an appearance on one of my lists, so we'll get back to him then. Um, I didn't think we were going to conflict like that. Mm -hmm. So we'll get back to Tom Cruise. Number five on my most overrated would be George Clooney. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, George Clooney is a, you know, a fairly good actor, but I just don't think he's as good as everyone says. It's not that he has anything bad to him, I just don't see anything special at all. That's the only really thing that I have with him. It's just there's nothing that stands out with him at all. And, yeah, that's about it. What do you think, my love? I think he's a good actor, but I think he is more famous for his look than his acting talent. There you go. Those stand out, but his acting, yeah. Okay, my love, who's number four on your list? I had two. But number four on my most overrated list is Angelina Jolie. I haven't seen a whole lot of her work, but honestly, I just get sick of hearing about her. Uh, I don't think she's overly talented in acting, and she's also in the media a lot for all the work that she's doing with charities and whatnot, and that's a plus, but again, you get tired of hearing about the same thing. They need to move on from her charity stuff and her involvement with Brad Pitt and Jennifer Anderson, former love connection. So, what do you think about her? Um, uh, I don't think she's that overrated. I do think, um, the publicity with her is quite obnoxious. That has nothing to do with her acting skills. I mean, I can't stand... She's everywhere. She is, and I can't stand it. But her acting, I felt it was okay. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Like, uh, what is it, Girl un Uninterrupted, is it? Or I forget what it's called. Girl Interrupted. Girl Interrupted. She was pretty good in that. Uh, I haven't seen Wanted, but she, I heard she was good in that. I liked her in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, what else? The only films I didn't like her in was her Tomb Raider films, but I don't think she's necessarily overrated. I just don't like her publicity stuff. That has nothing to do with her acting, so. Well, I think... Her publicity stuff overshadows the acting. It takes away from the acting, and I think she's basically all but left acting for charity stuff and adopting and whatnot. So, to quote Stephen Colbert, uh, "Be careful with your kids when they're around Angelina Jolie. She might just accidentally adopt them." Mm -hmm. Okay, well, moving on to my number four. Uh, this is a tie, and this is my only tie. Uh, first will be Steven Seagal. Uh, coming from a martial artist standpoint, Steven Seagal is just not a good martial artist, and he does the same stuff all the time, and, well, he doesn't really put much acting into his actual movies at all. I, uh, I forget what it was. Uh, I think it was Chuck Norris said uh, on one of the late shows, I'm as good as an actor as Steven Seagal is a martial artist. Uh, he, I just don't think he's a good actor, I don't think he's a good martial artist, and he's just plain boring. The only movie I've ever liked him in was Exit Moon. That's it. Uh, the other person, and a lot of people are going to crucify me for this, for my number four, is Samuel L. Jackson. Now, don't get me wrong, I love him. He's a good actor. He is. But with the exception of Mace Windu, he plays pretty much the same role in every film. 
the badass guy that says motherfucker or whatever like that and it just feels like the same role. He does a good job in it. In Pulp Fiction, he was great. He was really good. Uh, and I'm sure he was good on Snakes on a Plane, but they all kind of, they just feel like the same roles. I know they're not. I know he brings something different to each one, but they, but it's not enough difference. It feels like the same thing. What do you think, my love? I agree with you about Steven Seagal. The little bit I've seen of his stuff, I think, is overacting. Um, and who's the other dude? Samuel L. Jackson. How could you forget Mace Windu? Samuel L. Jackson is a good actor. Um, from what I've seen of his stuff, he doesn't overact. I think he deserves the praise that he gets. Um, okay. Well, it's your turn, isn't it? It is. Do number three. Okay, number three on my overrated list is Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of acting anymore, but when he is acting, all the roles seem to be pretty much the same. I think he's more than more now the whole Nutty Professor role. Mm. And he can't really break away from comedy. I like actors that can do a variety of different roles, and Eddie Murphy's just about comedy. And Didn't he really do Golden Girls, though? More. Or was it? Uh, did he do that movie with did. Beyonce? He might have done the movie Dream Girls. Dream Girls, that's it. Golden Girls is a great TV show. Mm -hmm. But I never saw um, Dream Girls, so I can't really say anything about that. But he's overrated. Um, I think now he's overrated. I, I thought Eddie Murphy was funny back in the day. Um, but right now, all his roles seem the same. He has to play, like, every single part in every single movie that he does. Again, I thought he was funny in the past, but... Not now. So what are we on, number three? Um, Jennifer Aniston. I do not like Jennifer Aniston. Uh, it's not a personal vendetta, I just don't think her acting is good. At all. Uh, I think she's very overrated. A lot of her parts feel the same. Um, she's just not funny. I mean, she was okay in Friends, and I don't really watch Friends that much. I only watch it, like, if I'm really, really bored. And I mean, like, really bored. But, I mean... She's just not funny. I don't find anything she says funny at all. Not one bit. That's my beef with Jennifer Aniston. And she's butt ugly. Gonna get I don't think I don't think their looks should reflect on whether or not they have acting talent, but I'm a fan of Jennifer Aniston. I like her from friends and I like her romantic comedy, so I really can't say anything negative there. I don't think she's overrated. They are a romantic comedy. It's such a joke on how much she thinks she's good. She is good. Yeah. Your turn. <laughs> You're number two. Uh, yes. Number two on my overrated list is Brendan Fraser from The Mummy and from one other thing. Uh, I forget, but he was in a movie where he played a guy that was in a bomb shelter for a long time. He was also in a movie that took place during, I think, World War II, but... I'm thinking more about the movie where he is, like... Oh, the George of the Jungle. Guy. George of yeah. the Jungle. Ah, oh, what do you mean? He was awesome in that. He was okay in the comedy, but, I mean... Darn I'm not that. overwhelmed by his performances. Uh, I guess maybe I need to see more of them. I don't know. But. I don't know. I, I dig Brendan Fraser. I... I I think he's good for a certain role. Um, I like him in The Mummy. I did like him in The Mummy. I haven't seen the third one yet. That's the only one I haven't seen. Uh, but I think he's pretty good in The Mummy. From what I've seen of him so far, he does a pretty good job. Is he like an A-list great celebrity? No. But I, I don't think he's overrated. I don't think he's bad at all. Uh, what are we doing? Number two? Uh, Matthew McConaughey. That's all I have to say. What does he do? He's not funny. He has no acting skill whatsoever. Uh, it's just like, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to act? Now, I can understand if females find him attractive. He has that surfer, suave, washboard abs kind of look. And it works for him. But really, what has he been in that's been funny? Or that's been good? His acting just crappy. It really is. Ugh. What do you think? I haven't seen a lot with Matthew McConaughey, but 
And she likes how to lose a guy in 10 days, so I think she's good in that role. She's not unattractive, so I'm sure that helps him in Hollywood. Well, I don't necessarily think she's hot, but I don't think he's overrated. Okay, you're number one. Mm -hmm. Number one overrated actor mm -hmm. slash actress yeah. for her is number one overrated actress is definitely Miley Cyrus. Just can't stand Miley Cyrus. I mean, she's a shoe win because of her dad's one hit wonder, Billy Ray, and I just don't think she's very talented when it comes to acting. Somehow she appeals to queens and teens, but. I don't think she can really act, and she has an okay singing voice. Maybe she should stick with that, but not so much acting. No, I try not to have an opinion on Miley Cyrus, because she hits a genre that I don't belong to. For example, it's like me saying that girls should see how good uh, Batman is. Most girls aren't going to like Batman. Not saying all, but most girls. Uh, most guys aren't going to like Miley Cyrus, so I can't really have an opinion on her. Um, however, I think she should stay with music rather than acting. Um, again, I don't like her. I don't like the genre of music she does, but she does do good. Uh, does do a good job singing, from what I've heard. Um, however, I mean, what she has? What's that name of the show she has? Hannah Montana. Yep. Yeah. Unimpressive. She she's not really a good actress. She should just stick with her. Uh, music, which she's more known for, although she does have that show on Disney, so I guess she's known for acting, too. Um, I don't know, she, from what I've seen about her acting, she comes off as a tomboy that overplays her part, that tries to be funny when she's not. Um, I would like to see in her serious role, if she really wants to take acting seriously, do a serious role, and let's see how well you do with that. But she's been labeled with the Hannah Montana role, so I can't really take her serious anything because of that. But anyways, my number one is Megan Fox. Uh, oh, Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Uh, I haven't seen any good acting skill from Megan Fox at all. The only thing that makes Megan Fox popular is because everyone thinks she's attractive. Let me just note, I don't think Megan Fox is attractive. Uh, put aside your, uh, your penis instincts here and think with a brain. She is a bad actress. I did not like her in Transformers. I will not like her in Jonah Hex. I will not like her in anything she does because she hasn't shown any acting skills. Now, maybe I'm holding this against her too much. The problem is that she's put into positions where she's labeled as a sex image. In Transformers, she is put in a position where she has to play a sexy character. Same with the Jonah Hex movie that she's going to play now. But, I mean... If they put her in a serious role, maybe she could have actual acting skills. From what I've seen, she's just not a good actress. Or she has not shown any good acting skills. It's just her sex appeal that appeals to people. God, grow up. And wipe the sperm off your pants. Don't masturbate when I'm talking about her. Your turn. What, what did you think about her? <laughs> um... I think she has been put in movies so far specifically because she's eye candy to some people. I don't think that she can really act. You're the only eye candy to me. And Batman. Okay. Good <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot to say about her. I think people just find her attractive, and therefore she can get some mediocre movie roles. And her tattoos are bug ugly. Who puts Marilyn Mor It's Marilyn Monroe on her arm, right? Yep. She has, like, some other stuff. It's like Angelina Jolie. Her, her tattoos are bug ugly, too. Okay, so we're doing underrated actors and actresses. These are the people who we think should get more roles and that are better than they are labeled. You go first, my love. Who is your number five underrated actor, actress? <laughs> Yes, Andrew, you like this one. I had David Boreanaz as my number five underrated. Because I do watch Bones with Andrew, and I do like his performances in that. I have seen some Buffy and Angel, and I didn't mind him there. So, I can't really say anything bad about him. 
I think he needs to be advertised, I don't know if that's the right word, but he needs to get out there even more so more people know of him because, well, he's underrated. A lot of people haven't heard of him even, so he's good. We'll get to the video before I this later with me. Uh, coming back to um, an actor that she had on her overrated list, uh, Tom Cruise. I think Tom Cruise is actually pretty uh, underrated. I liked everything that I've seen from Tom Cruise. I think he gets a bad rap because of his, um, what would we say, spiritual views? Um, his views with Scientology. I mean, put all that aside. People can believe whatever they want. Who gives a shit? Really. I mean, that's his own personal life. Who cares? But uh, Mission Impossible, great. Top Gun, great. Last Samurai, great. Valkyrie, pretty good. I mean, he does a pretty good job in his movies. I think he's knocked down a peg because of what people think of him and his lifestyle choices. Who cares? Really? I mean, we're supposed to live in an intolerant America, an America that, you know, doesn't put any, you know, where we're not racist, and, you know, where we don't discriminate against people, and because people have certain spiritual views, you knock them down? Who said being Catholic is right? Who's saying being Scientology is right? Uh, I have my own opinions on it, but I'm not going to knock anyone that believes it. Everyone has an entitlement to their own opinion. And for that, I, I think it knocks down his acting. I think he's a good actor. You already stated on how you feel. So don't say a word. Okay, go ahead. Say a word. Well, now I'm at a loss of words. But I think he is the one who spreading the word on Scientology. It's not people saying... Who is? He's like the Jesus of Scientology. He's not the one saying it about him. He's the one that's making the Scientology overshadow his acting roles because he doesn't shut up about it. That's what's annoying about not just Scientology, but some religion in general, is that people try to get other people to convert to it. Let people make their Jehovah own, Witness. own decisions. Born again Christian. So I definitely think she's overrated. Um, okay, well, we're going to obviously disagree on this. I don't think he spreads any rumors about Scientology, but... Yes. And as you notice, new batteries. We haven't timed out at all. It's pretty good. Um, what is it? Your turn. Number four. Yep, number four on the underrated list. I'm going to say Rachel McAdams from The Notebook. And what's the upcoming movie she's in? Um, the Time Traveler's Bitch. I mean, Wife. Wife. No. Wife. She's... A very good actress. I mean, I haven't seen too much of her stuff, as with some of these other people, but from what I've seen, she's talented. She doesn't overact. I mean, I think she's got it. I think we need to see some more of her. Um, she's not particularly a fan favorite of mine, but, um, a fan favorite. Uh, she's not particularly a favorite of mine, but I think she does have acting potential. I mean, I was, I had to watch The Notebook, and she was pretty good in that. Uh, she was good in Wedding Crashes, um, so, I mean, what else was she in that I saw? I don't know. Uh, she seems like a decent actress. I can't really put her on a pedestal. I can't say that she, she definitely needs to be, like, she's definitely immensely underrated, but I think she should get more than what she has, so I will agree with you on that. Uh, coming at number, what is it, four? Yeah. Jessica Biel. Um, Jessica Biel, I think is a decent actress. I think she should get more roles than she does. Uh, I didn't like the show Seven Seven at all. I understood it. I appreciate it. I respect it. But I did not like it. However, she did a good job on this. Um, she did a good job in a lot of the other movies she's been in that I've seen her in. I think she has potential. The problem is that the movies that she is in suck. But still, that was a bad movie. But she did a pretty decent job. I think she has some potential, and I think I would like to—I would like to see her be in some better movies. She is a good actress that just put in bad movies. Yes, I agree with you. I think she definitely has potential, and she is not—she hasn't been given the best role so far, with the exception of Seven Seven, because I was a big Seven Seven fan. So I was introduced to her on that show, and I think she just needs to get better roles. I mean, she's being put in movies that aren't blockbuster hits, and maybe that's because people know her from Seven Kevin and they can't get used to her 
in a different kind of role, but she just needs different movies. And she'll get noticed more, I guess. Yeah, fair. Okay. Number three most underrated is Sean Penn. Because he might have just won an Academy Award for Milk, which I haven't seen yet. But there are other movies he's been in that I don't think have gotten quite the credit they deserve. I liked him in I Am Sam. I thought he did really well with that role. I also really enjoyed Mystic River. I mean, some of that has to do with the fact that it's set where I'm from. But, um... Well, they know I live near Boston and Massachusetts. I never said what city we live in. So you can say Massachusetts. Don't worry, they won't stop it. Why would okay. they ever want to stop it? Well, yeah, it's filmed in Massachusetts. I really like... I think he's good in dramatic roles. He has done some comedy, so I think he is good at a number of different roles. He can balance a bunch, whereas Eddie Murphy, I said earlier, really only does comedy. So, Sean Penn needs more credit than what he gets. You feel differently, however. <laughs> I'm not saying Sean Penn is a bad actor, but he is no way, shape, or form underrated. Um, he gets the credit that he deserves. Um, I don't really care for some... Sorry, the batteries did not die, actually. It was because my card got full. I can only have like 21 to 22 minutes on my card. Um, it's a very weak card, but... Um, Sean Penn. Uh, I don't know where I was talking. I don't know mm -hmm. what I was talking about. So what I'm going to say is this. He's a good actor, but I don't think he's underrated at all. One bit. Not one bit. I think he gets the credit that he deserves. So, what was him on your list? Number three on my list. Oh, you have it disorganized. Uh, number three on my list for underrated actors and actresses would be Eliza Dushku. Uh, now, you may know her from roles as, like, Faith from Buffy and Angel, or as, um, I forget if it was Missy, Chrissy, or whatever, mm -hmm. from, uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, or from True, uh, uh, True Calling, I think it was, or, uh, she's been on quite a bit of stuff. She's on Dollhouse right now. That just came out on season one on DVD. I need to pick it up, because I have not watched yet. Um, I think Elijah Dushku is a very talented actress. I think she is put into roles that are the same roles, like that sexy, badass kind of girl. I, I think she can do a lot more serious roles. I can do. I think she can do a lot of roles that are outside of her comfort zone. I think she has a lot of talent, and uh, she does well with like Joss Whedon and Kevin Smith. But outside of that, she usually gets put into roles that really don't, you know, I don't know, uh, really don't suit her. And the, the movies or the TV shows aren't that good. I mean, he, she was fantastic in Buffy and Angel. Uh, from what I hear, she's pretty good at Dollhouse. Uh, she was great in uh, Kevin Smith. Uh, movies. I mean, uh, she she's a good actress. I don't think she gets the credit that she deserves. Or, so much she's not put in the roles that she deserves. She gets kind of put in minor roles where she can definitely be put into a serious uh, role. Uh, you know, like, if I was making a movie, she would wa be one of my leads because she's a good actress and I think she deserves to be one of the bigger roles. What do you think? Uh, I can't really comment too much on Elijah Dush because I haven't seen very much of her stuff other than her role as Faith. And... She doesn't like Faith at all. No, I, I didn't really care for that role. She didn't even like Faith when she was on Angel when she went like all depressed and he brought her back to the good side. Apparently it's not my time to comment, so... No, go <laughs> ahead. I'm, I'm, so I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll be done. No, no, go. Um... I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm being loud enough for you guys. I'm still new with this, but I'm trying to speak up. So hopefully I'm getting my point across. But, yes, yeah, on to number two on the underrated list. I have Shia LaBeouf, because contrary to Megan Fox, he actually can act. I've seen him in stuff since back in the day the when, he, when he was on, well, not just Holes, but he was on the show called Even Stevens on the Disney Channel, and that was more of a comedy role, so he did well with that when he was a kid, and I've seen him in Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I thought he was 
Good in that role, and I think he's going to be in more of those to come. We're going to talk about Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull sometime in the future, both of us, because uh, I think that would be an interesting review. A lot of people dislike that movie, and uh, we have contrary opinions. <laughs> so, anything else you want to say about Ty? Yes. <laughs> Go, then! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him in the Transformers yeah. movies, too, and I liked him in those, because, like I said, he can act, so... I think we should see more of Shia LaBeouf and less of Megan Fox. Agreed. Um, when it comes down to Shia LaBeouf, again, I have to disagree. I don't think he's very underrated. I think he gets the credit that he deserves. He's an up-and-coming actor. Um, he's multi-talented. Um, in Transformers, he did a good job, but I don't think that was the, wor uh, the role he was meant to fill. Like, I think Confused Matthew said it, that the role of Sam Wilkwicky is supposed to be a quirky role, and... Shy was playing it the only way he knows how. I don't think Shy could do Corky, but I think he's a he's a funny actor. I think he could be a serious actor when he needs to be. Uh, I think he's a multi-talented actor. Do I think he's underrated? No. Do I think he's up and coming? Yes. Um, I think he needs to get some stuff in order. Like I know he's had trouble with personal issues too. Like didn't he have drinking problems or stuff like that? And I think he had a DUI. Yeah. Whatever. I mean. I, I can foresee, in the next five to ten years, Shia LaBeouf becoming a megastar. I really think he's a good actor. Um, I thought he was good at Indiana Jones. Um, Transformers, he did the best he can for the role he was given. Quiet. <laughs> the cat. It's not going to come over here. Why do I oh, even bother? Um, actually, wait. No, the kitty is. Oh, no. And it just ran away. Um, but I, I, I think he's a good actor. I don't think he's underrated. Uh, so, on to my number two. The Rock. Uh, the Rock is my favorite wrestler, but I actually think he's an excellent actor. And uh, I loved him in Scorpion King. Um, what else was he in? Uh, the Rundown was a fantastic movie, and he was great in that. Doom was pretty good, even though it had no plot and horrible characters. The action was great, and it was a good movie. Uh, I have not seen Race to Witch Mountain yet. Um, all the movies that I've seen him in, he does a good job. Get Smart was good. Uh, what is it? Uh... Be Cool was a horrible movie, but his role was pretty good. I think The Rock is a very good, um, I almost said wrestler. A very, well, he is a good wrestler. He's the best wrestler. But I think he's a very good actor that gets labeled because he's a wrestler. I think if he was not a wrestler and he was in the position that he's in, he would get more roles because he is a good actor. I think he does a very good job. I just think people can't get past the fact he was a wrestler. Um, I mean, God, he's doing a whole lot better than Hogan ever did. So, I think he's a very underrated actor, and I enjoy him a lot as a wrestler and as an actor. Your opinion, Milo? I don't think he's all that underrated. We're, we're uh, fighting right now. What fighting. I've seen of his acting, I'm not overly impressed. I will give him credit for doing some family movies, though. I thought he was good in... Oh, the the plan, the game plan. Some of those rules. Maybe it was the game plan. The game plan where he had a little kid and he was a football star. That was a good movie. I thought that was cute. I thought it was nice yeah. how he appealed to people of all ages in those roles. But I guess maybe I can't step away from the wrestling thing. So. That's because you don't love The Rock like I do. Well, putting all bodies on aside, because I do love him to death, I think he's a fantastic uh, actor. I don't think he's the best. Uh, maybe fantastic is a strong word, but I think he's a talented actor, and he should get better parts. And your number one, my love? My number one underrated actor is Haley Joel Osment. We haven't seen him in anything in a while, but I first saw him actually as the son to Forrest Gump. He was young Forrest in Forrest Gump with Tom Hanks. Um, and, I mean, I think he's been very good at this from a very young age. He can do, he's done mainly serious roles, and I think he's probably best at that, but I can see him doing other stuff in the future. I like, uh, Forrest Gump is one of my favorite movies ever. He's also in Pay It Forward, and that's a very good movie, so I recommend that. I mean, I can't say a lot of movies he's been in, because he, I don't think he's been in enough, but like Shia LaBeouf, I think he's probably had some sort of legal trouble that needs to get cleaned up, but I hope to see more of him again soon. I don't even know who the mm -hmm. fuck that is. No comment. Moving on. Uh, That's my point. <laughs> he needs to get out there more. <laughs> yeah, I don't 
don't know who he is. So I can't really comment. Forrest Gump was a fantastic film, though, so if he was in that, so he had to be good. <laughs> Number one! <laughs> David Boreanaz! Of course I'm going to put David Boreanaz on it. He was great in Angel, and he is great in Bones. I think he feels more comfortable with the role of Agent Steely Booth in Bones, but he did a very good job for Angel for the role he was given, and he gave life to that character, and he gave life to the, um, was the Agent Steely Booth. I think he's a great actor. Uh, I think he, you know, I, I'm comfortable where he is right now in Bones on a TV show, but he is very underrated. Um, he also played Green Lantern in uh, New Frontier, Justice League, uh, but um, I think he's a fantastic actor. He's actually my favorite actor uh, because he, he plays the roles that I like. Uh, would I like to see him in movies? Not right now. I, I would rather him do TV for a bit more, but I think he's a great actor who's very underrated, um, and put all bi uh, bias him aside, him being my favorite actor, he's just, he's very talented, he really is, um, he really gets into a role, and he's one of those actors that feels very comfortable with his role, a lot of actors and actresses feel very stiff and like robots, not mentioning anyone from Twilight, well, actually mentioning everyone from Twilight, uh, but, uh, he, he, he feels very comfortable with his role. So, David Boreanaz, my number one most underrated actor slash actress. Well, just actor. Yeah. You already saw that. Um, yeah, I did, but I want to add a side note about Haley Joel Osment that I forgot. Because he was in The Sixth Sense when he was 11 years old, and he was not nominated for an Academy Award at just 11. So, that's just another point of how talented he is. And yes, David Boreanaz is underrated. The fucking man. He is a man and everyone should know it. So with that said, I guess that's our top countdown. Um, if you would like to do a video response posting who you think is your top five favorite, uh, well, favorite, top five most underrated and overrated actors slash actresses, we would love to hear about it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments at all, any questions at all, we would be glad to answer them. Um, expect more videos like this. We're going to try to aim to do at least maybe one a week. Maybe. Is that okay? That should be okay. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, uh, just, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, with that said, uh, this is Andrew. Mrs. Cutter. Saying peace out for now. Yes. Yeah. See you later.